Jacob, lead singer of Soja, Soldiers of Jarmy, your first time touring Germany. How was it so far? Uh, we've had a really good time in Germany so far. Um, we've done tours of Europe uh, before, um, nice ones, but uh, opening up for gentlemen is, uh, is for us like a new step, like a new chapter. Like we feel like we're being included in a like a, a family that already exists, you know, because gentlemen's fans are they're so so different, so many different kinds of people, and so Germany is. It's nice to finally come to Germany, you know, because that's where the band's from, and so yeah, it's nice for us. How did you get in contact with the gentleman? Did you meet him at some festival, or how did it work? I think I think we met him at Fest in Nunch festival uh, in Switzerland. Um, and then saw him at a couple more festivals around, and then yeah, just kind of caught the vibe from there. Yeah, and obvi obviously you had a good vibe, otherwise yeah, you wouldn't yeah, be touring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we get along with the band really well. For us, it's a, it's a nice uh, fit, you know, it's kind of like a big family. So now on this tour, you play um, big halls, big venues. Um, But that's not a new experience to you, huh? Back home, it's um, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in Europe. It's new for us in Europe. <laughs> uh, for uh, uh, we we're normally playing in um, uh, uh, South America, North America, and the Pacific Islands is where Soja, um, I guess, plays maybe sh shows that are like these shows. But it's nice though to be in Europe and see the same reaction for gentlemen because now we know that we can hopefully do the same thing over here you know so you do um roots music which uh, nowadays is quite rare for yeah, young yeah. bands doing roots music um why did you do it and why are you successful i mean others try it too but it's not a good time uh globally for roots yeah, music yeah. i think uh i think people want something new from roots music and my advice to any band that was starting to do a, a roots band now because it is hard um, they should try to do something new, something that hasn't been done before, you know, because most of the big Roots bands have done something new, you know. I mean, Bob Marley did something new, Peter Tosh did something new, Burning Spear did something new, Culture did something new, rest in peace, Joseph Hill. And everybody, you know, they would do new things. And that's what Soja tries to do. We try to say it in a different way and address the, pr the new problems that exist today. Not really talking about things that happened 30 years ago, but talking about right now, you know? And that's, I think, what's important to a Roots band is that you're discussing. You're like a newspaper, you know, for like every, for the world. There's a Roots reggae band. Is there a special um, United States Roots style? Because w uh, um, Groundation mm -hmm. is quite popular over here too, which is an American band too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of bands in America that are doing, uh, doing well F from one side of the thing to the other side of the thing. There's a bunch of, uh, there's a movement going on in the States. It's not just Soja, it's, uh, it's Revolution, um, it's Groundation. Uh, there's ma actually many bands I could sit here and, and list, but we're proud to be from where we're from right now because we think that uh, a lot of the world's problems can be traced back to America, so uh, maybe America should have its own roots bands. That was the idea behind the new album, Born in Babylon, is to say, you know, we're a roots band from Washington, D.C., like born in Babylon, you know. So the American Babylon, I guess, is a little bit different from the original Jamaica Babylon. Yeah. Which is issues do you address? Um, uh, for us, we're not really talking about uh, police or, or military. We're talking about uh, um, the things that make those things exist. You know, And so the topics of our songs are often the government and the corporations, um, the mentality of the people, um, and how that affects the rest of the world. Um, the the way that we conduct our lives, the things that we do, um, and we don't really say what's right and what's wrong. We just discuss the truth, and then you can make your own decision of how you feel based on the facts. You know, which I guess is very American. <laughs> on this tour, did you get any any feedback from European people? Do they? Um, Do they feel the issues too? Are they involved? People, some people know the lyrics. I think a lot more people are hearing it for the first time. Um, 
but everyone's taking CDs with them when they leave, uh, everyone. So I think that people are thinking that maybe Soja is something that maybe they want to listen to. Um, we had a really warm uh, reception in Germany and all over Europe, in Poland, in Italy, in Spain, uh, in France, um, in Austria, in Holland. It, we've Everywhere has been really... So we're excited. We want to come back now, you know. Can you say that there's an... Um, a special European audience or is it different from country to country the reaction of the people how they get the vibe is there a European entity so I, to speak I think, I think uh, well European uh, audiences are used to good roots music you know you guys have a lot more Jamaican bands touring here than we do in the United States you know in the United States there's the visa thing and there's the passport thing and there's the also, just reggae isn't as popular in the United States as it is in Europe, you know. I mean, it, the shows aren't as big. Um, so I think European audiences are maybe, like, seasoned to reggae. Like, they really, they've seen a lot. So for us to have people as excited as they are for Soja in Europe is a good thing, because we know these people have seen everybody. So we're excited when people yell and scream for Soja because we're like, okay, last week this guy saw Andrew Tosh and the week before, you know what I mean? So it's tight for us. And we are definitely uh, curious to see your concert tonight. Yeah. Jacob, thank you so much. For sure. Thank you guys very much. Big up Reggaeville.